Welcome to 120 Credits to Graduate. This is one video in our student success series we're calling SBS Success Shorts. Students often ask us what it means to need 120 credits to graduate. We find the layers of required classes students have to take, the gen ed and the majors classes, can sometimes be confusing. Hopefully this video will provide a different way to think about that puzzle and bring, bring you a little bit of clarity. In the end, if you still have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to an academic advisor in your major. I'll include my contact information on the last slide. Just a note, everyone at UMass, whatever their major or interest, needs to complete those 120 credits to earn a degree, and there are other details that matter too. Your cumulative GPA, for instance, needs to be at least a 2.0. Knowing those details is important, and those are great conversations to have with your academic advisor. But for this video, we're going to be a little broad and just focus on the 120 credits concept. I think it helps to think about the 120 credits needed as falling into three different baskets, with more or less 40 credits in each. I'll play with that math a little as we move through the slides and add a few different details. I'm also going to describe each of the baskets as we move through the presentation, but to start by naming them, they are the Gen Education credits, your major credits, and the last basket for now I'll just call Other Work. Please note that I've mentioned here your SBS major. While every student will complete at least 120 credits, and all students have to do the Gen Ed work, not all majors in every college are the same. Just know that if you change majors and end up doing work in a different college, these credit baskets may play out differently. Please try to keep that in mind and make sure you check in with an advisor in your new program. Basket 1 represents your general education classes or your gen eds. All students at UMass do these and they're intended to expose you to a broad range of topics to help you build a broad foundation of skills and knowledge. The abbreviation for these classes are listed here. The full names are here too. There's actually two more gen eds that I didn't list here because they end up falling in your major work just and so I want to keep it a little bit simple. But most types of gen eds that you see listed will have some element of choice. So for instance, if you'd like to do your historical studies gen ed, there'll be a grouping of classes that you can select um, any particular semester. And this is really what makes the gen eds fun to do. They can be a great way to explore your interests and different ideas. If we return to our focus on the credit issue, however, the important takeaway is that the gen eds end up being, at minimum, 33 credits of work you have to do at UMass. So let's go back to the basket and revise our first basket to read gen eds for 33 credits. Basket number two holds the number of credits you'll need to complete your SBS major. Here are the subjects you can study in our college. If you're not sure what you want to study when you first come, you can always start on our exploratory track. Regardless, our majors require different numbers of credits to complete their degrees, and that range is from 36 to 73. So if we go back to our baskets and change the math again, we've got 33 credits for the gen eds, and on average, 50 cre credits for the SBS major. Just to pause for a moment, knowing what that exa exact number is for your SBS major will be important for the rest of the conversation, and it's something that you're going to develop um, as you complete a few semesters and fully commit to a particular major. But again, for this kind of broad conversation, we're going to imagine that that other work basket then ends up being 37 credits. So our last basket, basket three, is other work. You might want to ask the question, why could you complete your gen eds, your SBS major, and still be short of the 120 credits you need to graduate? In general, our college values interdisciplinary work. We want to encourage students to develop skills and knowledge that might out, um, lie outside of one major discipline. So we set up your program to make time for you to do that exploration. So what kind of work um, do students do that's not their gen eds and not their major class? They might do a minor letter specialization or second major. They might do an internship, independent studies, or research. The number of credits needed to complete these credentials is going to vary depending on the program. Minors, just to give you an example, can require about 15 to 20 credits for completion. There are some that require more. So you're going to figure out this element as you spend time at UMass. And sometimes it's the element of choice around this area that feels a little whelming to students who are early in their career. 
But we find when we work with students that as they take some courses, do a few gen eds, get some work done in their major, they start to understand the shape of what this other work might be um, in their career. So here we are at the end with our three baskets. They aren't completely the same size, but for most SBS majors, it ends up being pretty close. You'll do some gen ed work, you'll do some major work, and you'll have plenty of time to do other work that's interesting to you too. Here are some places to get extra information. If you do an online search, you can find our guide to undergraduate programs, and there every major has a getting started page that tells you how many credits it takes to complete the degree. Our SBS undergraduate website has a great wealth of information and will also link you to that guide if you'd rather go that route. Last, here's my email address. I'm Adrienne Grace, SBS's Director of Student Success. Thanks so much for listening and I hope it helped.